A key value store is a database that consists of keys like foo, bar, and bas, which are typically strings, and the keys map to arbitrary values such as 7000, byte monk, or 1, 2, 3. As you can see, it is quite similar to a dictionary or a map data structure. Now, in one of my previous videos in System Design Playlist, we learned the benefits of structure which relational database imposes because it gives us a very powerful and complex querying capabilities. However, depending upon the use case, the same structure can be more cumbersome than useful. And in those cases, you may prefer to use a non-relational or NoSQL database. That is a database that does not need any tabular-like structure. Key Value Store is one of the most popular type of non-relational databases. As its name implies, a key value store is a database that allows you to store mappings from keys, which are typically strings, to arbitrary values. These values are typically are also stored as strings, but some key value stores will also allow you to store integers or arrays as values. Key value stores can be considered as the most primary and the simplest version of all databases. It just has one way mapping from the key to the value to store data. The lack of any imposed structure make them extremely flexible. For example, if you think about caching, it's a perfect candidate for a key value store because when you implement caching, you are typically storing values somewhere and access them using a hash, a username, or IP address. Basically, you access them using some sort of a key. Conceptually, you are using a key value model. And so, key value stores are typically the databases used for caching. Redis is a popular example to implement caching. Another example that comes to my mind is of dynamic configurations, which I will cover in another video, but to explain it briefly, Sometimes you may have special parameters that different parts of your system may rely on. For example, I might like to store a value in database indicating if my system is up or not. So I can have a parameter like is launched and a boolean value true or false determining if the system is launched or not. Since you are accessing values directly through the keys, you don't have to search through the database sequentially one by one, going through every entry. You can just access them directly using keys which makes them extremely fast. And so you will often get low latency and high throughput when using key value store. At the same time, key value stores usually do not have a querying language as in RDMS to retrieve data. They only provide some simple operations such as get, put, and delete. Hence the data querying or retrieving should be handled manually at the application level. Now there are a lot of databases out there and naturally there are various types of key value stores. For example, DynamoDB, Redis, Zookeeper, and different key value stores may behave differently. Some key value stores such as DynamoDB write data to disk, meaning the data will persist even if they crash or go down. Key value stores such as Redis might only write data to memory, and if they crash, you will lose the data stored in them. This is a trade-off you make for faster operation, which, depending upon your use case, might be totally acceptable. For example, if you are using a key value store for caching and you lose your data, it might not be unacceptable for your system. All you will miss is a few cache hits and once your key value store is back up, you will start refilling the cache and those cache hits again. Some key value stores will give you strong consistency. Some will give you eventual consistency. The point is there are a lot of key value stores out there and you have to pick the one that's going to be most useful for the use case you're dealing with. Now there is absolutely no reason to use KVLU store over RDBMS for a simple typical business-based application where data management is more important than the performances. But if your application is more performance driven, you should certainly use a key value store over RDBMS since the key value stores are capable of providing much higher performances than RDBMS. Also, if your data model is not hierarchical, you should consider using key value stores over RDBMS. As the key value stores are really simple and easy to handle, data can be modeled in a less complicated manner than in a RDBMS, and it will end up having much better performance than RDBMS as well. As both of these databases types have their own strengths and weaknesses, you should be able to choose the most suited one according to your requirement. You can check out my video on CAP theorem to get an idea on how to pick the right database store for your application or use case.